There are so many different ways that you can say you in Korean, including words like pangshin or kude, or using someone's title, or even just using honorifics. And I have a lot of videos about this topic if you check my channel. So we're not going to be just talking about how to say you in this video. I want to address a problem, and it has to do with this word for you, no. Now, it's not wrong at all to use this word no. It just gets misused all the time. For example, I often get comments like these on my YouTube channel. Pili, no, chegoeo. Now, I do appreciate them being polite and using yeo instead of ya, but this part is actually a big problem. Now, I am not offended by this because I'm a teacher and I'm sure I have said a lot worse things than this, but no chegoeo to a teacher or actually to anyone even older than you is a a big no-no. So in this video, I wanted to clarify exactly what no is used for, how it feels, and when you should use it and when you shouldn't. But first, if you're interested in this topic and you'd like to see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, so this word means you, and you can use it whenever you're talking to someone who is at least the same age as you, or when you're older than them. So to someone who's younger than you. Also, you have to be close with that person. So you can't use it to just strangers. Okay, so then what if you're really close friends with a teacher, right? Well, you still would not use this word to them because they're older than you. Again, you have to be both older than or the same age as them and close with them in order to use this word. Now, this is different than standard panmar, so standard casual speech. With casual speech, if you're actually close with someone, then sometimes the age doesn't really matter that much. In fact, I have some close friends who are older than me who we use panmar with each other. This is a little bit more strict than that, because even if someone is really close with you, if they're older than you, you still should not use no to them. And I think that the reason many people misuse this word is because they think that it's part of panmar, where panmar you can sometimes use in casual situations and with close friends, but this is a little bit different than that, and I think that's why this gets misused especially. So then, if you use no, what does the other person feel like? Well, it feels almost like you are casually talking down to them. I should say it's not a soft feeling. Now, if you're close friends with someone and you're older than them or the same age, it's okay to use. I just wanna say that again. This is not something you need to avoid when it's used correctly. This sounds normal. But the feeling, again, is kind of like you're almost talking down to a person, or at least you're kind of seeing them as no better than you, no higher than you, no older than you, like that. So it doesn't have a soft feeling, and in fact, if this word is misused, it can almost sound like a swear word. Now, native Korean speakers will understand if you misuse this word, They'll just assume you're not fluent, but it can rub some people the wrong way. So then when do you use this? Well, if you are the same age or older than someone and you are a close friend of them, so you're really close, feel free to use it. It is not wrong at all. It's completely normal. But if you want more of a light and more friendly sort of feeling to call a friend, well, there are other ways that you can do that. The most common is simply by using their name. And if their name ends in a consonant, you simply add e. So for my name, my friends might call me just Pili. Or if I had a friend named Hijin, I would call her Hijin E. Hijin E. And again, this sounds more friendly and light. And I think with most of my friends, this is how I call them. But I don't wanna make this video to scare you away from using this word. Because if it's used correctly, it's a completely normal word. But again, close friends and people who you are older than, or at least the same age as, then it's okay. For everyone else, I recommend just using their name, or if you're not super close with them, you could use she, or if you are kind of close, you can use regular words like oppa, onni, hyung, nuna, like that. And there are many videos on my channel about these sorts of other words you can use to say you, but there are lots of different choices you have. In fact, you don't even need to say the word you most of the time in Korean, as long as it's clear who you're directly talking with. So overall, to summarize this whole video, 
Though is fine if used correctly. If used incorrectly, it can sound quite rude. So just be careful of this. Thanks for watching, and if you have any other questions, any other things that have been bugging you, things you want to know, let me know in the comments. I do read them. In fact, many of these videos in this Korean FAQ series started as questions posed by viewers like you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next episode. 그럼, 다음에 또 봐!